Hello everyone, this is Empress Pamela. Welcome to this edition of Healing Through Writing. Prompts number 60, 61 and 62. I may be interrupted because my husband just got home, so hopefully not. Uh, prompt number 60, what gives you a sense of security? Prompt number 60, what gives you a sense of security? I would love to say money and financial stability give me a sense of security, and if I had that, I'm sure it might. But something less tangible and more esoteric that gives me security is faith and hope and the knowing that everything happens for a reason. This requires a bit of personal surrender to the laws of the universe. I'm going to put this here because that's... <laughs> a little blurry. Okay. Prompt number 61. Do you think it takes... Do you think take it one day at a time is good advice? Why or why not? Prompt number 61. Do you think take it one day at a time is good advice? Why or why not? Yes, I do think the advice of take it one day at a time is practical and realistic. We need to do a better job of living in the moment, staying present and practicing mindfulness in order to avoid staying in our thoughts and creating fear of the future or regrets of the past, living in the present is crucial. Yes, we should visualize our dreams and have a sense of future direction while keeping open to change and surrendering to new paths and opportunities. Prompt number 62. Name or describe the five things you are most thankful for right now. Prompt number 62. Name or describe the five things you are most thankful for right now. The five things I am most thankful for in this very moment are 1. My thoughtful husband who served me a delicious and nutritious breakfast in bed on a Saturday. Number two, my beautiful kitten, Pikachu, who woke me up with purrs and taps on the head. Number three, my YouTube channel, which as a creative outlet has helped me grow in personal expression and confidence. Number four, the fact that my mom is still here at 83 years old. And number five, my overall health and the choices I can make to improve each day. So friends, that is a prompts 60, 61, and 62. I hope you got your new journal for the year 2024. We're going to be doing a lot of writing. Like I said, we have... 400 prompts to get, get get finished. I mean, well, one each day, realistically, it's going to be 366 days this year, 2024. There's a, it's a leap year. So yeah. Um, I mean, be gentle with yourself. You, even if you don't write every day, if you write two or three times a week and just bust it out, you're clearing your mind. You're, um, perhaps doing some visualization, imagining, brainstorming, all those good things to help get you excited for um, personal growth and development and for having the best life possible. I'll see you in the next video.